Greetings everyone, Coach Stephanie Barboza here. Welcome to my kitchen. A little behind the scenes action of the lifestyle of wellness. I want to show you my meal prep that is done for five meals for five days for this week. I'm excited about that. Um, it always excites me, especially when it's done, okay? Um, and I know some of you are probably saying, oh, that takes too long, or, you know, or I don't even know how to do it. I would love to give you more details of that. You can always comment or contact me so we can go deeper into the look of um, what that details of having a plan. It's called my five Ps. Proper planning prevents poor performance. So I would love to share with you all the details, all the juicy details to that, because it's all in the details. But I'm excited. My meals are done ready for the week. They're ready for the week, and that excites me. <laughs> because I now have control over what I'm putting into my body. And my body is a human machine. Okay? And my body doesn't belong to me. It belongs to God. So this is my reasonable service. It's like a form of worship for me. So that's something to get excited <laughs> about. <laughs> if you don't know, you better have somebody. All right? So, but anyways, yes. My five Ps, proper planning prevents poor performance. My meals are ready for the week. They are five meals for five days. And there's a little extra in case um, I want to. I'm going to the sixth or the seventh. Down, well, maybe soon, right? Especially if I get enough people that say they're interested and they really want to learn more about meal prep. Um, I would love to sit down with you and go into the details because it's all in the details. You want you have to have a plan. Like before you go to the supermarket, you should write down what you're gonna eat for breakfast, what you're gonna eat for lunch, what you're gonna have for dinner. Go back and check the refrigerator in your cabinet and see what already what you already have so that you don't go to the store and start spending all this money and then come back and find it, oh, I already had that right? So if there's five days in a week and you already have um, a pack of chicken in there, right? You don't need another pack of chicken, right? You can have that chicken for dinner or for lunch. You may need some tuna fish for lunch, right? You might want to grab maybe some shrimp, right? But have a plan so you don't sabotage your budget when you get to the store because it's all about budget. What? Cost, it costs too much, eat healthy, you're doing it wrong, right? So if that's you and you've been trying and you just keep going out to the store and you find it, oh, I'm, I'm spending all this money, it costs too much, let's let's chat. Let's talk about budget. Let's talk about labor reading. Let's look at serving sizes. Let me help you out. And once I teach it to you one time, you'll be good. You'll really be good. You'll be good. One time, little teaching. You'll be straight. Trust me. I'm the meal plan prepper queen. Yeah. Trust me. I got you. You'll be all right. So, um, but it's all in the details. Details, details, details. You've got to have a plan. Do not go to the store hungry. That's another thing, too. Okay? Um, and plan it out. Try not to, to... I know a lot of times, even for me, I go after work. Right? But then I realized, you know, I'm really like rushing around and not thinking or I forgot something. So really even plan that thing out. Be intentional. Be intentional about um, taking the time. Be intentional about your time and planning to buy the proper nutrients that you need for your body so that your body can thrive. Okay? So, all right. Let me show you what I've got. Uh, 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 uh. All right, so we'll start with breakfast, right? So breakfast, I usually do cereal, which um, I'll pan the room in a moment. I have my cereal over here. Um, let's go ahead and open up here. All right, sake of video time, sake of video time. I'm going to pan it. 
okay? Again, I'm the meal prep queen, so. <laughs> All right, so here you go. So right here, my cereal's ready for me. <laughs> Remember, I'm always prepared. Proper planning prevents poor performance. So I have it in this cute little container. I'll drop it down there. Two spins gives me a half a cup. <laughs> Those are my dried fruits and veg. My dried fruits and nuts there. Yeah, because I eat them on a regular. So here we go. We're going into the fridge. So breakfast is usually either oatmeal or cereal or boiled eggs, right? So the purpose of meal planning and prepping, when you plan, and most people don't like to eat breakfast, but you can think it through, like, what's the less prep that I have to do? What's the least amount of work so I can make it convenient, right? Because the only reason you go to McDonald's, Burger King, Wendy's, or whatever, drop through Dunkin' Donuts for convenience, right? So you make it convenient according to your lifestyle. I did say this is the, life, the behind the scenes lifestyle with wellness, right? Right, so I'm not going through a drive through I'm gonna have it ready for me and take it with me when I go, right? I'm not gonna leave home without it. So cereal, oatmeal, eggs. Five days a week, this is only one dozen. Oatmeal, when you buy the old-fashioned oats, you get 27 servings in there, so you're gonna buy it one time, right? And it's maybe about $4, 3 dollars for Quaker, and you get 27 meals. Come on, do the math, do the math. The same with cereal. In your box of cereal, um, get healthy cereal, okay? So eliminate all those um, those fructose, fructose sugars and all that stuff. Let me read the back of the label, okay? But get rid of that. Um, but your cereal on the back label has seven servings, about six to seven servings, depending on the size of the box, right? You're going to spend, I spend about $2.50 on my box of cereal. Cheerios, yes. Um, I get seven servings. <laughs> You spend, somebody, or well, not you, not you, I ain't talking about you. Some folks spend more than that on a sandwich one time for a little egg and cheese biscuit. <laughs> when I just spent it on a box of cereal, get me through the whole week, right? And the same with eggs. So they're already pre-boiled, ready to go. Yeah, I keep it in a cute little container because remember, I'm the meal prep queen, all right? <laughs> I'm OCD too, like everything in order. I like order. So. There you go, there's your eggs, you got your cereal, you got the oatmeal, um, ready to go. What do I do? So those are, um, I have my fruit ready to go. Can you see, I got I have my apples ready to go. You can buy bananas. I would recommend that you don't buy large bananas, that you do like a small banana, right? Um, I don't know your stats, so. I can't really tell you, hey, do a large banana or do a small banana, right? Um, but as a nutritionist, I could, I could ask you a few questions. I can do some math, and I can give you your proper macros and micros that you need according to your gender, age, height, and weight, okay? Um, but have your fruit ready. I bought a bag of apples um, this week. But sometimes, just for five days, I may go down the food aisle and get one apple, one banana. I get enough for five days, right? I'm sorry, I get two because I have it with lunch and breakfast sometimes. So I get according to what I want. Key, when I wrote my plan, breakfast, lunch, dinner, I wrote it out saying, okay, all right, I'm going to have oatmeal, so that's my carb. I don't need the apple because the apple is a carb, right? <laughs> um, I wrote it out and I said, oh, but I am going to have boiled eggs. So let me eat a banana or apple or orange with that because my egg is my protein. All right? Little 101 on these macro steels here. So they're ready. But the, the key is convenience, 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 convenience. So you can go on out the door, right? Go on out the door. I can go. Just don't leave home without your food. Um, so breakfast, out the way. Salad. I prepared all five of my salads. All five. All five. Right? So they're all ready to go. Even the little dressing thing is in here. Right? Let me give you a sneak peek. I buy these little souffle things. This is tuna. And there's all my micros in there. So protein, vitamins, minerals, nutrients. This is beet dressing. Because I like it. Um, and I eat the fruit with it. 
but everything's on there. Everything's ready, even for the next one. So this one's actually chicken, but everything's ready. It's ready to go out the door, ready to go, okay? Now that didn't take me a lot of prep. I did the chicken. I knew I had a plan, so I knew how many days I was gonna be eating chicken. I actually bought just two chicken breasts, right? I'm gonna be having chicken on my salad three times this week, and the other two is tuna, right? So I bought two cans of tuna, two chicken breasts, two cans of tuna. Chicken breasts, I believe, was like 277, or yeah, about 277, right? But I got a serving set, I need, I got three servings out of it. I eat four ounces, 24 grams of protein for each meal. So there's my lunch, ready to go. Breakfast, check, lunch, check. Let's talk real quick about snacks. So, I don't do yogurt often. I definitely don't do it every day. You should know your digestive system. This is Greek yogurt, which is better concerning the digestion, but not everybody's body is the same. Did you know that yogurt is a great alternative than ice cream or eating um, candy? But for some, it's not a weight loss. It's actually a weight gain. It makes you bloat. Mm make you think, right? So you need to know your body, what your body's responding. So I only do maybe two a week and I don't do it every week because I cook all my things ahead of time. How do I get a priority? Switch it up. <laughs> I switch it up weekly, not daily. I don't stress it out. How do I change the flavor of my chicken? I switch it up with the barbecue sauce, right? I add sauces. This is stubs. It's a good one. That doesn't have all the fake stuff in it. Um, I do do honey mustard, okay? I count it as my fats. Um, with this, with this consideration, um, praise God for me, I'm not experiencing any true health issues, so I have to be mindful of sodium or sugar, okay? So I stay under 10 grams a day. I just basically get it in my coffee, gotta have it. So I have my yogurt, but what I did, I cut out, I bought one pineapple, and, and this is plain yogurt, right? I bought a pineapple for $2.99, look it, I cut it all up, I did the work myself, so I take a couple pineapples with my yogurt and off to work I go. Besides this, my other snacks, so there's two there, I did um, hummus, and I did pretzels, and I did celery, they're healthy for me. Oh, yeah, I literally count them out. <laughs> I sure did, because the back of the label told me how many carbs I would get. Also reminded me, this one has no salt, um, but if you got the salt, it would tell you how much salt was in your serving size. Um, even though the price was only 99 cent, I still, um, my grandmother would say frugal. <laughs> I'm still frugal, frugal with my dollars, my change. So yeah, I don't need to sit there and eat the whole thing. So I just got my serving size, plus I have the celery, and I'm using hummus. Hummus has carbs and healthy fat, healthy carbs and healthy fat. So I use that for my dipping, so it's a little snack in between, but it's all healthy. So one, it's, um, it's keeping my metabolism burning, so it's continuing to fuel my body and burn um, calories at the same time because my metabolism is working. All right, so, but it's all ready to go. That's my point, it's ready to go. I actually took the time out. I took the time out one day, a couple of hours, okay? I worked smart and not hard. I wrote it out, I had a plan. I had some strategy behind that. So it took me a day, but I'm done for the week. I just showed you breakfast, we talked about lunch, I showed you my snacks, um, breakfast, lunch and snacks, that's three. I always have some plant-based protein powder, um, so I have my protein drink, and then my dinner is waiting. So all that usually goes with me. I eat before I go to work, but everything else goes with me in my lunchbox, okay? And then when I come home at night, I have my dinner already ready to go. I mean, this lifestyle can be um, made so it's so convenient, and if you're the one that's going out to eat anyways, 
you shouldn't mind eating out of these things because you're already eating out. You just have it ready for you at the house where you didn't have to drive to get it. You came straight home. It's going to save you so much more time. So I did say earlier that I bought chicken. So I put chicken breast on my salad. Um, with, and other ones have tuna. These ones were chicken thighs. They were chicken thighs. I counted them out. There were six in the pack, and that's all I bought, <laughs> okay? Because I just needed one for each night. Now, sometimes I'll buy two, and then I might grab a bag of shrimp or maybe a salmon. But this week, I just went with the, I went with the thighs. It's my business, <laughs> right? So, and broccoli and carrots, like, Really, I would love to go into more detail as far as budget and label reading and quantity versus quality um, and help you understand the value that the food holds for you and your body, um, the nourishment that it, it brings you, and some more on the purpose of why. It's so important to know why. But the main reason here today, <laughs> my meals are prepped. They're ready to go. This is like, you know, when they used to say apple a day keeps the doctor away. <laughs> Five meals a day keeps the doctor away. And it's all in here nice, ready to go. You pack it up. Right? You get it in, you get it in, you get it in. You get it in. That's my milk for my cereal. I actually even already have my spa water stuff ready. <laughs> I got my spa water stuff ready. If you don't know about spa water, you need to swipe somewhere <laughs> and find my video on spa water. I got that ready too. I did that all the other day. Um, and I have extra veggies cut up. Extra veggies cut up. These are raw. They're better for you, fresh and raw. And I'm telling you, I bought one cucumber and it's gone a long way. One little container of the red tomatoes. One red onion. One. One. Um, and... I bought the baby carrots and they already were peeled to save me time on my meal prep. Um, it's considering I'm saving. <laughs> I figured I'd splurge on them already peeling my, my carrots. But these can be little snacks. So if you, you're hungry and it has you know, cucumbers in there, you can just throw a little bit of vinegar, um, salad, or salad dressing on it and eat as a snack. You're fueling your body with proper nutrients. But if you don't have it ready, if you don't, one, if you don't have it, two, if you don't have it ready, you're not going to eat it, right? Because it's not going to be there, and you're going to try to take, um, well, I won't say you, because, you know, that's not you. That's not you. No. Nah. <laughs> I ain't talking to you. I ain't talking to you. <laughs> but if I'm talking to you, <laughs> and this is like, all down your street. <laughs> Come on and roll up on me and give me a call and let me help you understand the lifestyle of wellness um, when it comes to, of course, fitness, but also when it comes to nutrition, when it comes to taking care of this body, which is the temple, right? It is your vehicle here on earth. It's your car, right? It's getting you to and from, right? Um, so let me help you to understand this lifestyle and you and how it works best for you. Right? Again, my name is Coach Stephanie. Welcome to my kitchen. A little bit behind the scene of the lifestyle of wellness. And I'm celebrating my wins because <laughs> my meal prep is done for the week. So, which means I have a little more time to either spend it with family, read a book, work out, or just go to bed early. How about that? <laughs> All right, y'all. Thanks for viewing. Remember, give me a call if you want some assistance. I'm here to serve. Comment below for more information, and I'll holler back at you. Have a blessed day. Eat to live, not live to eat. Let's thrive and not just survive.